Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you 20 puzzles that sold on eBay for over $100. So if you're looking to learn about different items that you could buy from thrift stores, garage sales, auctions, different sales online, then this video is for you. So what I'm gonna be doing is actually taking you into my computer and I found 20 puzzles that sold for over $100. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not the ultimate expert when it comes to puzzles. Matter of fact, I'm quite the beginner. But this is how you learn, right? This is how I've been able to build my reselling business over the last seven years is by diving into my computer and studying the sold listing, studying what brands sold, how much did they sell for, and experimenting with different places to find them, like thrift stores and garage sales so with this video you're gonna be able to learn about puzzles so am I so do me a big favor before this video starts and smash that like button and let me know what you learned about during this video were there any brands that stood out for you are there any ones that you passed up on so with that being said let's get into this video All right, so we're inside my screen right now, and the first puzzle that sold, sold for $155. This is a Liberty, uh, a Liberty Jigsaw puzzle, and this is probably the most popular puzzle that I sold, that I saw sold in the sold listings. And uh, this is a uh, Vincent Van Gogh puzzle right here. Just going through some of the listings right here. 262 pieces, pretty interesting puzzle. I don't really know much about it, but if you ever see this cover, if you ever see it, you better pick it up because this sold for $155. Next up, we've got a Puzz 3D. Now this is the new, the new York edition. This is a really, really big puzzle. There's a ton of pieces in here. And now I do want to warn you, if you are going to be buying and selling puzzles, especially on Amazon, but if you're doing it on eBay, you know, consider it as well, you've got to count the pieces. That's one of the things that stinks about buying used puzzles is you have to count the pieces. There's really no way around it. If you disclose that you're not sure if there's all the pieces there, you're going to be getting a lot less money for those puzzles. So that's one of the downsides. But again, you know, keep in mind, the more challenging and hard something is to do, the less competition you're going to have. So a lot of people, they don't even mess with puzzles because they don't want to count the pieces. So this sold for a best offer under $159. And there's not a ton of pictures here. Let's take a look at the description. Um, it doesn't look like they're saying too much about the item. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we got a Ravensburger uh, 18,000 Evening Walk Paris. Paris Jigsaw Puzzle. This sold for $300. Are you absolutely kidding me? Who's going to pay $300 for a puzzle? I don't know. But I'll tell you right now, as a reseller, as an eBay seller, as an Amazon seller, your job isn't to figure out why in the world people are doing what they're doing nowadays in this crazy world? It's to go out and find it. And that's why you get paid. You get paid to bring the value to the market. And the value is you're finding these hard, rare, hard to come across items and you're bringing it to eBay and Amazon. This sold for $300 right here. And it looks like I'm trying to see what they're saying. Puzzle is complete and in used condition. All bags have been marked with letters and instruction manual. This 18,000 piece jigsaw puzzle, 18,000 pieces? Holy moly, you might only be making $5 an hour after you buy this thing and count all the pieces. Next up, we have an Every Girl Should Have a Unicorn 2017 Liberty Edition Jigsaw Puzzle. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the Liberty Puzzles is what you want to look for, right? I'm no master when it comes to puzzles, but I can tell you right now from the, you know, our research I did before this video finding these puzzles that the Liberty Puzzles are the way to go. So here... Uh, this looks like it's Dr. Seuss, so you know all the craziness that went down with that recently. The value of everything associated with Dr. Seuss went through the roof. But I know these Liberty Puzzles do well. Two, 2017, $349 right here. Look at that. I'll tell you right now, you've got your money's worth in this free video if you ever come across one of these things. Because I'll tell you, before this video, I didn't know anything about the Liberty Puzzles. Next up, we got a vintage Lotta 3, 1960s Jamar Frankenstein, Frankenstein, Wolfman, and Dracula jigsaw puzzle. This sold for $192.50. Now, coming across puzzles from the 1960s is definitely going to be hard. But who here loves going to estate sales? I do, right? You find old puzzles all the time at estate sales. So keep your eye out for stuff like this. Now we're gonna be moving quick. I don't know how to pronounce this right here, MC Escher, 250 bucks. I feel like I came across this in the past. 
or maybe I saw it in the sold listings. I'm not sure, but this looks very, very familiar. And as you can see, some of the people that are creating the listings and they're taking pictures, they're bagging it up. They're, they're putting, I don't know if they come like this in different parts or whatnot, but the more confidence you could build as a seller to the potential buyer, the more money you're going to make. $250 right here. All right, next up we have a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer puzzle box. This looks hard and rare. Uh, this is from, let's see, does it have a year on it? Let's look through the description. Really not much description here, but it definitely looks vintage, probably from the 50s or 60s, $100 on that right here. Now again, in this video, I'm gonna be just covering the titles, going through some pictures, because what I'm trying to do for myself and for you is to train our brain to be able to recognize them when we're out and about, right? I could sit here and you know research this for 10 hours of what the background is to each and every one of these brands and these you know the stories behind it, but who cares? Recognize it, see it, understand it, and then look it up. Here's a Ravensburger uh, Disney, 90 years. So this must be really rare because I saw a couple of these, a couple of these sell for multiple hundreds of dollars right here. So again, you're seeing a common theme. It's the big puzzles, it's the puzzles with a, t a whole bunch of pieces. This has, so I'm not sure how many pieces are here. I doubt there's 40,000 pieces because that would be absolutely insane. I'm not sure, we're gonna have to do some research, but remember that right here and look this up. These things are selling like hotcakes. Next up, we have a vintage 1971 Playboy Playmate, Kathy Rowland. So we're gonna have to uh, edit this video quite a bit because there's some naughty pictures on here, but this sold for $172. If you wanna check it out, you can obviously look this up in the eBay sold listings. So keep an eye out for that. Next up, we have another Liberty puzzle that sold and this is a really cool cover it's a moose and uh is this the cover or is this the puzzle actually made it looks like it's the puzzle actually made okay gotcha remember that cover right here it's this navy blue cover there's obviously different types of puzzles that they make 130 dollars and 50 cents right here this puzzle is new offering from liberty puzzles for this year i bought it and put it together one time it's in, in it's in uh, like new condition Box and tissue are also in new condition, has 517 pieces. They gave the measurements. There is a color line cutting to some of the pieces, which I always find make it a bit more challenging. The puzzle is full of whimsy pieces like all liberties. I am happy to combine shipping on any of my auctions. So again, another Liberty puzzle. Keep your eye out for that. Next up, we have a Wasaki Dancing Pheasant Farm, thousand piece puzzle. This is by Hasbro. I'm sure you guys all recognize that brand right here. Uh, thousand pieces, ages 12 and up. Take a look at this cover right here. Seasonal Splendor. Never heard of this before. I've never seen it before. It sold for $139. That is pretty cool. Let's go through some of these pictures here. Very nice. And this is why when you go to thrift stores, especially a garage sales, look it up, right? On the eBay app, you could scan the barcode. On the Amazon app, you could scan the barcode. Or you could just look up the title and see if it's worth anything. Now, a lot of them aren't going to be worth much. But again, you know, this Hasbro by Milton Bradley, thousand piece puzzle sold for $139 and it was used. All right, next up, we have a very rare 1969 Springbok jigsaw puzzle. I see the brand Springbok all the time, and some of them actually do really well on Amazon. I like to buy puzzles that are brand new and sell them on Amazon. Uh, some of the used ones I do look up. You know, I haven't had tons of success in the past, and it's probably because I haven't really educated myself. This sold for $113.55. Let's take a look at this. So it's old and beat up, but again, this is something maybe you'll come across it at a, uh, an estate sale, or maybe you're cleaning out your grandparents' house or something, or they're giving away stuff. Before you throw it away, look it up. Next up, we have a vintage Rubik's Magic Puzzle, 1987. The title says rare. I've never seen anything like this before. Let me know if you guys have. So it doesn't look like a, a traditional puzzle, right? It's a little different. It's more like a Rubik's Cube, and it's by Matchbox. Matchbox, that's really odd. Sold for $150, $150. Vintage Matchbox Rubik's Cube Magic Puzzle. Create the Cube, 1987. It's a collectible item. It's original. Uh, level two challenge, create the cube, gently used. So, you know, I haven't mentioned this in this video, but I've talked about it in previous videos. 
To get more value, take more pictures, describe the item accurately, give all the details that they would need you know, to make a decision. Are all the pieces there? Is it complete? Are you not sure? Fill out the item specifics right here as well because this is gonna help you to rank in the, the eBay search, right? It's gonna favor you. The algorithm's gonna show your, your item to more people, right? And that's the name of the game. Show your item to as many people as possible that are interested and you know, your increase your conversions. Next up, we have a Sports Illustrated. Now, I'm gonna start showing you some rare stuff that you're probably never gonna find, but if you find it once in the next 10 years, it'll be worth it. $118.50, 1967 Sports Illustrated Top 10 Ski Runs. Really? Very, very interesting. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that before, have you? All right, next on deck is a 2-bit with Will Strajibos Cubic Dissection uh, Dissection Wood Puzzle. This is very interesting. I had to bring it on board for you guys because I've never seen anything like this before. 2-bit uh, by Will, I'm not going to slaughter that name again, manufactured by Eric Fuller. But bingo, excellent condition, free shipping in the United States. Do some research on this. A lot of these wooden puzzles actually do really well, the old ones. I'm not sure what year this is from, but I'm saying it's old. It looks older. I'm not sure. Maybe some of you guys could educate me on this. Next, we have a JK Strauss interlocking wood puzzle. Knight Rider, 550 pieces. Best offer under 150 buckaroos. Let's go through some of these pictures. Now, what I want you to do is when you're watching this video, pause it and then, you know, copy and paste this name and go under, you know, copy this and, you know, go like this and go here and type in puzzle and see if you find anything, right? Go down the rabbit hole and see, oh, look, look at all these other puzzles I'm finding. Get yourself acquainted with, with what these things look like. Next up, we have a, a Dowdle puzzle. Never heard of this before, never heard of this brand. And again, what I would do is I would take this, copy and paste it and put it in the sold listings under used because that's probably how you're gonna find them most, the vintage ones, and study the sold listings. This sold for $130 right here. I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna leave that up for you guys. Next up, we got a Jennifer D. Lot of three. Oh, a lot of three. Uh, WM Happy Campers, Pelican Paradise, and Curious Kitten. So it looks like we have a lot. So Happy Campers, is that the brand? No, it's White Mountain Puzzles. White Mountain Puzzles. So there's not, you know, I don't like how there's not a lot of pictures here. White Mountain Puzzle, thousand piece. So why is it saying, why is it saying a lot of three? So maybe there's three puzzles in one. See this, this right here, I don't like the listing. There could be more pictures. There could be more description. I'm a bit confused, but again, I'm not an expert. Two more. So next up, we have a lot of five Disney puzzles. $199. Are you serious? 199 bucks, who would have ever imagined, right? We got Pinocchio, Little Mermaid, Lion King, right? Snow White, uh, I can't read that one. $199 right here, really, really interesting. And these are just 300 pieces. Again, the stinky part is you gotta count them all and make sure they're all there. Um, you know, but if you have kids, you know, put them to work, right? And last but not least, the 20th puzzle is a huge lot. Now, this isn't an individual puzzle that's sold, uh, but I wanted to share this because I want you to realize that people are willing to pay up for puzzles and puzzle lots. Like if you have a whole bunch of puzzles, maybe someone's cleaning out a house and they're like, do you want all these? And there's like a hundred puzzles, pick them up, right? You could do a local pickup. And this one, as an example, sold for $299. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything rare in here, can you guys see anything that's rare based on this video so far? Do you see any liberties? I don't see any liberties, right? But that's, that's free money if you're able to get these for free. And sometimes on like Facebook or Craigslist or Nextdoor app, you can pick these things up for free. People are just giving them away. Estate sales, a lot of times at the end of the, uh, the, the end of the estate sale, they're just, they have a pile of stuff they're giving away for free. Sometimes at garage sales. Stack these things up. So let me know if you learned something in this video. Again, the purpose wasn't to dive into the history of each puzzle, but more or less to get you to keep your eye out for these items when you're going to thrift stores and garage sales and you know, you're know you going to auctions or estate sales or you're looking on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, if you still source on there, to keep an eye out for these puzzles. Now again, these things are gonna be time consuming counting all the pieces. There's probably gonna be a lot more that aren't worth money, especially the used ones. The new ones, always scan them and look on Amazon. I love selling the new ones on Amazon. But uh, hopefully this helped you out. If you did find value in this video, do me a favor and smash that like button down below. Leave a comment and let me know 
What's the number one puzzle that got you excited that you're going to be on the lookout for? And with that being said, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.